Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 20. And in this tutorial, I am going to talk to you guys about background images on your web page, okay? So I'm actually gonna show you guys how to add some background images and also how to manipulate them to appear in different positions, etc. Uh, but before we start, I just wanna mention to you guys, I do have a div tag here in my body and this is where we're gonna be adding our background images. And in my CSS, I've actually just styled that to have a height of 350 pixels and a width of 100%. And if you guys don't know what the width of 100% 100 is going to do, uh, that means that we're going to have a height of 350 pixels. So starting here down to about here somewhere, that would be 350 pixels. And a height of 100% means that the div is going to take up as much space as it possibly can uh, width-wise. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and actually add our background image in. And it's actually really simple. All you have to do is type in background image, and then you're gonna uh, type in the word URL, which is basically uh, the URL of the image. And you're gonna have to open up some parentheses, and this is where you're gonna put in your image name. Okay, so uh, if we go over to my tutorial 20 folder over here, I've got my index file, which uh, you guys already know what we're working with that. Then we've got our CSS file, which uh, we're working with that in Notepad++, so that's an index and CSS. Uh, and then if we go back to that folder over here, we've got my image, which is called YouTube Play.png, which is just the YouTube logo, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and actually type that YouTube play.png file in here, not pong, PNG. And if you're using a JPEG, then go ahead and type in uh, YouTube play.jpg or whatever, your file name, .jpg. Okay, and uh, go ahead and save that now. And when you click refresh in the browser, you should get a repeating background image okay so as you can see it starts over here and it goes it repeats horizontally and vertically and of course I'm using a really small image so it repeats obviously a lot of times if you guys had a much bigger image then you would see it repeating a lot less times because it would take up more space uh, but now let's go over to CSS because let's say you didn't want your image to repeat uh, then it's possible to do that. You can go ahead and just set background repeat to no repeat. And this is going to make the image appear only once and uh, it won't repeat. So let's go back here and click refresh. And as you can see, we only have the one image, not the matrix one, just, just one image. Sorry, I didn't mean to say you are the one, all matrix-like, but yeah. Okay, so we've got it repeats. Uh, here not repeating at all. It's also possible to make this image repeat uh, horizontally. So that means uh, repeating across the x-axis in the browser. And all you have to do is then change this background repeat to repeat minus x or repeat hyphen x. And what that's going to do is make the YouTube Play logo repeat on the x-axis. So that's pretty cool. And uh, if we wanted to repeat go fr going from the top to the bottom, that is the vertical axis or the Y axis, then we could go ahead and just set this equal to repeat Y instead of repeat X. Go ahead and save that now. And uh, when I go back to the browser, click refresh, then we have the YouTube logo repeating from the top down to the bottom. So that's pretty cool as well. But we can also change the position at which this image actually starts. So let's say I take my uh, repeat off. So let's go ahead and set this equal to no repeat. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and um, just change the background position. So background position. And uh, as you can see in the browser, by default, it appears up here in the top left-hand corner. 
or yeah, let's go ahead and nope, I haven't saved yet, have I? No. Okay, that's fine. So it it starts appearing in the top left hand corner. But let's say I wanted my image to appear in the actual center of the browser over here. Then I could go ahead and do that. Um, it'll actually appear in the center of the div, by the way, not the center of the browser. But let's go ahead and type in background position center. And when I go ahead and save this now, my image should appear in the center. So by default, it was top left. Now it's in the center. Uh, we, we can also set this equal to uh, center top and that would make it appear in the center at the top. Then we've also got right top. Uh, by default it was left top. We've got center. Then we've got um, left center. Yeah, okay, left center would be over here. Then we've got right center which would be make the image start here. Then we've also got um, right bottom which would be over here then we've got left bottom which would make the image appear over here and we also have center bottom which would make the image appear down here okay so uh, if you guys want to go ahead and play around with those positions then you can go ahead and do that uh, but I'm not going to because it's going to take up a lot of time but you'll find what a lot of guys do uh, when creating a web page is actually go ahead and instead of adding all of this code in the actual div they might actually add it to the body tag and it's possible to do that so I'll go ahead and add all of that code to the body tag and have the image appear actually in the body of uh, your web page and they'll start off the image uh, appearing from center top but they'll make an image that will take up the entire size of the browser. So right now I'm actually just uh, recording a small part of my screen. But let's say I wanted the image to take up my entire screen. I could make an image that is uh, 1920 by 1080 pixels. Uh, so that's 1920 in width and 1080 in height. And then um, basically make an image that's exactly that size set it to appear in the uh, center and then or center top and then also set it not to repeat uh, or not to s move when the page scrolls and then you have that image that actually just like stands dead still while all the content moves up and down when you scroll okay uh, so that's what a lot of guys will do with the background image if they want an entire background image on their website and it's possible to do that uh, if you don't want the image to scroll, if you don't want the image to move when you scroll, then you go ahead and use the background attachment property. Attachment. There we go, like that. And you set this equal to fixed. And this means that the image will not move if you have enough content to actually uh, make the browser scroll but I don't have enough so you're just gonna have to trust me that that works because I'm not gonna show you guys and I know this tutorial is getting kind of long but there is one last thing I want to mention and that is just uh, the actual content and the background color as well so uh, if you guys didn't know uh, basically every single element in your web page has at least three different layers. So I'm going to go ahead and actually take this code and throw it back in my div tag. And I'm also going to give my div tag a background color and we might as well just give this a color of, I don't know, orange. We'll just use a standard color because I'm too lazy to look for a hexadecimal color. And I'm also going to give this div some content. So we'll just go ahead and say some content here. Ha ha ha. Okay, cool. Uh, and now, uh, if I go back to my browser and click refresh, uh, you can see, not so well, but we can still so, sort of see it. Let's go ahead and uh, just change that repeat so that it will repeat all the time and we'll take out that position as well. Okay, uh, you'll see that our elements actually have three layers. So 
we have the color or the background color which appears at the back and then on top of that we have our background image which appears on top of the background color and then the highest layer of all is our content uh, so if I went ahead and copied that a few times you'd see that this content will appear on top of the actual image itself so let's actually go back and um, we'll just duplicate that a few times hopefully that's enough to go down to the new line click refresh and as you can see uh, our content actually appears on top of our background image so those are basically the three layers of every element and actually uh, that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial so don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like and share the video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time